1922, over 20 organizations in Arlington joined together and petitioned Tarrant County to establish a branch library. On March 19, 1923, the Arlington station of the Tarrant County Free Library opened with 25 books in a wooden box and Miss Pearl Wade as the librarian. Standing in this picture, Miss Maddie Mae McCaskill became the librarian in 1927. Those who grew up here remembered climbing the stairs to a room over the Texan Theater or maneuvering through the stacks of books filling two rooms and spilling into the hall at the original Arlington City Hall building. In 1951, over 19,861 items were circulated. The year that Tom Vandergriff was elected mayor. Pictured here at the Old Southeast Grand Opening, he served until 1977 and was a great supporter of the library. In 1953, Horace Cooper donated the historic Cooper House, and by 1954, the City of Arlington officially assumed control of the library and opened Cooper Memorial Library in Meadowbrook Park. The library quickly outgrew Cooper House, and the city soon bought the old First National Bank building at 106 West Main Street and opened the new library in 1962. We used the newest technology of the time, including a drive through book drop and a machine produced by Brodart to check out items which would stay in use until computer automation in 1994. Soon, Mrs. Lee retired after 30 years of service in 1963. Mrs. S.E. McLean became librarian until 1965 when Jack A. Corliss became the library director. By the late 1960s, it was obvious that library services needed to expand to serve the community better, and the passage of a $1.4 million bond led the way for major citywide expansion. In 1968, Arlington decided to build the Central Library downtown. The city moved quickly on the Central Library and three branches, and the groundbreaking for all three branch libraries occurred in May 1969. By 1970, the population had grew to 90,229, and Southeast was the first branch to open in January of that year. The press described it as a pretty library building as well as functional, with its modern columns and large reading and reference area. We now know this branch as the East Arlington Branch. North Branch opened September 1970. North was located at the intersection of Cooper and Randall Mill Road. The facade featured the brutalist architecture similar to the soon-to-be-built Central Library with an inviting children's area. The branch closed its doors in 1996. Southwest Branch opened in January 1971. It featured natural stone and lots of light. The branch was later renamed Woodland West and moved to its current location. In July 1971, the groundbreaking for Central occurred. The site formerly housed a pharmacy, men's shop, and variety store. Completed in 1973, the Central Library offered a state-of-the-art card catalog system and microfilm readers, and was decorated in stylish hues of orange, harvest gold, and avocado green. Parts of the library remained virtually unchanged until its closing in 2014, including the staff room, kitchen, and community room, while other parts of the library, including the checkout desk, the children's area, and the downstairs audiovisual area, drastically changed over the years due to the updated technology and floor plans to better fit the needs of Arlington. By 1980, the population was 160,113, and we continue to grow, not in buildings, but in our staff and collections. As a testament to the growth of the city of Arlington, a new Southwest branch opened in 1986, and the existing Southwest branch was renamed the Woodland West branch. It was the first new building in 13 years. Dr. Betsy Burson became the Director of Libraries for the City of Arlington in 1990. To honor the longtime editor and publisher of the Citizen Journal, the Central Library was renamed the George W. Hawk Central Library in 1984. Woodland West relocated to its current location in 1996. And in 1997, the Northeast Branch was opened, close to the entertainment district including Rangers Ballpark and Hurricane Harbor. The Southwest Branch was also renovated and expanded in 1998 to better serve patrons and to offer space for new technology. In 1999, groundbreaking for the newly named East Branch started, and by 2000 the renovations were complete. The name change for East paved the way for Southeast Branch in 2003. Dr. Rick Smith served as Director of Libraries from 2001 to 2004. Carrie Ann Siegfried succeeded him and still serves as Director of Libraries for the City of Arlington. The prize for the most used name for a branch library goes to Southwest. 
The Southwest Branch also had a name change in 2003 to Lake Arlington, and in 2007, the Southwest Branch opened at 3311 Southwest Green Oaks Boulevard, mirroring Arlington's tremendous growth throughout the years and the library system's commitment to grow along with the city we serve. Our commitment hasn't stopped there. In the 2010s, we've partnered with Mansfield, Kennedale, and Grand Prairie Public Libraries to offer online services and started a mobile technology service named the TechLink. Now, we are going to build a new central library.